Well, hello everyone. Do you remember I showed you the video which I talked about these products there? The fresh water products are just around this area here. These ones there are salt water products, as I can tell. They're all sea life products, as I can tell by the looks of it, I suppose. Well, guess what? I've actually made two of these freshwater toys. Now, I've actually made these ones because they are slightly different to saltwater toys and by the looks of it, fresh water is associated with wetlands and other things like that, like rivers, streams, lakes and, you know, ponds like that, reservoirs, whereas, you know, saltwater is basically associated with the sea. But nevertheless, now these two products there are British Wildlife Collection toys and it's going to be quite amazing when you start to see these two British Wildlife Collection uh, water toys, which are fresh water toys, by the looks of it. And please excuse me, I'm just going to probably bring out the tissue that I've actually bought out from the tissue box that I've actually had in my computer room. And yes, I have one of the, the nastiness of all. Let me try and blow my nose for this one. <laughs> actually, this actually looks pretty gross when you think about it. And I'll probably show you the cringiest part. I'm not sure how good or bad this is. <laughs> this is absolutely yucky though. Yeah, yuck. Let me have a closer look at this tissue here. I don't know why I'm just looking at it. It's just absolutely gross when you think about it. Yeah, yuck. Well, anyways, let's start with the Mute Swan Big Signets 12 pack. Cost me about £14.97. It's actually quite sort of amazing because, but it's also a bit blatant in a sense. It's a little bit bland and a bit mundane in a sense because. Yeah, mute swans, they are generally common, but I really tend to see them. I used to see them back last year, but I don't think this year we've actually seen swans in my local park, though. Being Manifon Park, I think Manifon Park is my local park, eh? And uh, we've got 12 mute swan toys. And I'm very sorry about the way I sound like in this video because the flu is still with me. But nevertheless, this toy is 100% compatible with water, part of the British Wildlife Collection toy range. And they're all based on immature mute swans that are outsized birds, but with full grey plumage, or feather plumage in a sense, that's how it's, how it's spelt, maybe. And uh, we'll take a look at what they obviously are. And they're actually made from recycled paper, so we're going to come in and take a look at what they are. It's quite a very... Oh, look at that! That is a huge army of swans. And yes, these swans, uh, they all look quite... Sort of interesting, I suppose. They've got two foldings, they've got two folds of the beak. There's one fold here, which represents this feature here, and there's also this fold here, which is the beak. Okay, and the eyes look pretty nice, they sort of look sort of look interesting, I suppose. Very beautiful looking birds in a sense. Underneath they say uh, meat swan, which is a good enough find when you think about them, eh? And uh, these birds, they don't look too bad, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see them via the brightness on the camera. But yes, I could tell you what, it is absolutely hard to see these birds when the camera is on. It's absolutely quite vibrant, and it's also very bright. I think when I tend to use this Samsung tablet camera when it's bright, it's actually very hard, not just that, to see things, but it's also accumulating so much of all the memory that's in my tablet there so I have to probably delete some of the other video clips because or maybe some of the excessive uh, photos that I've actually have in my um, tablet which is the Samsung Galaxy 10.1 I'll, I'll literally say it's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet which I've actually bought this one for about six years old I could tell you what I can't believe it I've actually bought this one back in 2013 Quite an old tablet, and I think it's actually quite difficult to see the eyes. But you know what? I think we're going to do something very, very similar to the other video. And yes, guess who's coming next? Well, I'd probably say it's a short video because we've only got one more product to look at. And yes, out goes the crummy piece of tissue there, which is freaking annoying. And we're going to grab Bumblebee. And let's grab Pikachu as well because he's really, really good at trying to attack water type Pokemon. And we'll try and find the switch right inside his back. And the back is literally the battery pack, which is inside, or the battery box inside. And we're gonna probably shake Pikachu because we wanna make him strike all of the Swanners. 
That's how I can remember. Oh, yes! Oh, it's a strike! Oh, some of them actually haven't got, um... Hang on, there's actually ten... Oh, wow. There's actually, um, maybe nine? That's interesting. Nine of the swans that uh, actually survived. Very interesting indeed. And yes, we only have three swans surviving. Well, one of our bumblebee can actually kill some of the swans there by this. Yeah! 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 I think that's probably a win. Well, let me try and uh, basically turn off um, this beautiful, um, beautiful looking Pikachu toy. And I think I've seen far much better days, and so does Bumblebee. I think Bumblebee used to come with a weapon, but I couldn't remember where it was. And look at that, all the swans. Oh, hang on a second. Let's bring Bumblebee back, because there is one more swan which actually hasn't been obliterated, so let's target it at it, and let's fire with Bumblebee. Oops, sorry about that. I've just dropped Bumblebee, and we're going to do it. Three, two, one, and fire. Oh, got him. One last swan is literally dead. Mind you, the people of England may know the Queen really loves her swans because swans represent royalty. And killing swans means that it's literally a great big piece of cruelty. And let's not also forget that killing swans is also a very belligerent thing in the UK. And yes, let's probably put back all of the swans in there. Or meat swans as I call it. There's actually different swan species I can remember. There is the black neck swan, the black swan, the hooper swan, buick swan. Uh, some people call buick swans as tundra swans, if I can remember. And there's also the trumpeter swan, which is probably one of the largest waterfowls in the world. I'm saying waterfowls and chickens and ducks, geese and swans, probably... All sorts of birds like that. It's a very nice looking design. I mean, they don't look that too bland in a sense. I mean, they are different to the adult birds, as you can tell. If you look closer, they actually look more grey. Yes, they do look more grey than white, but it looks a bit, I suppose. And also, I've actually didn't notice that swans were domesticated uh, at some times, but at some matter of times, I suppose, and a long, long time ago. I couldn't remember. It's quite skeptical on what I actually think of because people don't actually realise that swans were domesticated at first glance. But maybe they aren't. Um, probably just, that's the way it is. Maybe the mute swan is the archetypal swan that everybody tends to know of. I'm actually having trouble to get these great big... Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, I'm just going to push that booty of a swan. That is one swan. No rhyme intended. I mean, look at that. He's literally just spe- <sighs> Look at you. Why is your booty sticking out? That is absolutely weird. I mean, I'm just gonna probably push you at the booty side. God. I'm gonna push that frickin' swan away. There you go. That product is now dinner. Sorry, I didn't mean to say dinner. It was actually done. Okay, with the swans, they're literally done. And let's bring in this set here. A £9.97 toy, which is basically a common moorhen and natural and wild diet 5-6 to six pack. I mean, look at the beautiful packaging there. It's actually got seven leaves on there. Looks like it's got vines and stuff like that, I suppose. There's a cute looking fish there. There's a moorhen. And there's also a water strider. If I can have a look at it. There it is there. There's the water strider here. And if we take it at the back here, that's what it looks like. Oh, there's a slug. There's a goose boy on the top there. And it's got what it looks like to be. What's that? Is that a lotus? Why well, am I thinking of India at the moment? And, uh, oh, it's a poppy lotus. But it does say part of the British Wildlife Collection toy range. So, how can I be, you know, a little bit blatant in a sense? Well, let's just come in and do the unpacking, eh? Because... If you don't show unpacking toys or unboxing reviews, your videos won't be popular anymore. And there you go. There's a little more here. I'm not sure if you can focus that. It's got beautiful brown detailings there. And it's actually a little bit of... If I just stand back, I think uh, if I go a bit closer here with the more hen, uh, it looks pretty beautiful indeed. I'm not sure how the brightness will affect this. Uh, it will affect the whole camera, I suppose. If I put it on the dark area here, which is sort of amazing indeed. I think the beak is red and yellow, but in the screen there, it's actually a lot more lighter than that. So it's actually a bit different. Oh, the, there's actually a little bit of yellow, 
right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's very hard to look at it. I think it's that area there which is making me think of yellow. But the rest of the bird is grey and uh, brown, uh, as you can tell by the wings there. The inner parts, unfortunately, aren't painted or coloured, as with the, um, the, the extra detailing on the bo body there, which is pretty unusual, I suppose. The tower is all done nicely, I suppose, which is a good thing. And guess what it says on the bottom there? It says, Common Moorhen. If I go a bit closer here, and if I focus just a bit there, it does say common more hen. If I focus once again, oh look at that, the camera's working there. There you go, you can see a bit of red and yellow detailing there on the beak. How interesting. And we'll take a look at the poppy lily, which sort of looks like a, uh, a combination of Remembrance Day, probably plus a few um, Indian holidays, maybe Diwali, or Deepavali in a sense. It's a very nice looking interpretation of a poppy Lotus, as I call it. I'm pretty sure maybe I've said lily or lotus at the same time. I'm not sure if I'm saying it as a poppy lolly. How weird is that? But anyways, let's take a look at these four critters. Actually, three critters in a sense, because this thing is actually a gooseberry, as it says on the, um, the back of the packaging there. That's what it's meant to be. So it's a little gooseberry, and it's only just a little fruity thingy bob, whatever it is. There's a little sea bream, or a silver bream, as I call it, for a fish. Yeah, it's actually quite very nice, isn't it? It's all sort of interesting fish, and it's actually um very hard to see. If I go through dark areas, it makes it a little bit more easier to see what it is. And uh, I don't think the camera is focusing it just a bit there. I'm actually having trouble. Oh, there you go. Bit of focusing there. Does it want to focus? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. This camera is actually having loads and loads of trouble, so it's just a generic you know, looking fish which just sounds pretty mundane and blatant at the same time there's the eyes there and the mouth is a little bit hard to see via the camera, I might have to turn off the brightness after I make this video, maybe but I'm not stopping until the end there, there's a little water strider yeah, it's got crazy eyes there, I'm pretty sure it has, there it is there, there's the eyes there on that model there and on the bottom there, it says Water Strider, and it's painted grey, just like in the recycled paper as well. And I've actually noticed that the Mute Swan product actually is made from recycled paper. And if I take a look at the back there, there's no information about that. So it's actually quite interesting to see it. And with recycled paper, it's grey, but with non-recycled paper, it's, it's actually more white. So it's actually a very nice interpretation of what I actually think of. And going to the fish here, it looks sort of nice, but, you know, oh, I can see the mouth there. There's a little bit of glue. It's coming from that flipping uh, orange pitstick glue, which is pretty weird. And uh, we're going to pick up, what's that freaking red thing there, is that? It looks like a slug, but it looks a bit. And uh, it, it is a slug. And um, it's got these uh, eyes, which are visible. And it's actually red, so I might probably put it on the dark here. Uh, it's, yes, it is showing a bit of reddish pinkish sort of colorization to me. It really does show you how good or bad uh, these things are. It's a little bit simplistic, but yes, very good with water. Yeah, there's not much going on there with this product, but nevertheless, to be honest, it really helps me to fulfill myself and just becoming basically a factory worker. Maybe I could make just like a real company one day. This actually sounds a very nice idea, but yes, we've got lots of info, which is a good enough find, as I can tell. But it looks, I suppose, and the poppy lotus, not lily, but the looks of it, is a very nice addition to this set. So yes, two for the price of one. Looks beautiful indeed. Oh yeah. And yes, I'm just going to ask you a question. If I added this price here, of £9.97, and £14.97, what is the total cost of these two items? Um, I, haven't, you know, I haven't bought these, but these are actually produced by me. So tell me by the comments down below on how much these two items cost. Let me know in another video. So, anyway, so anyways, 
I hope this video is actually giving you some very interesting info about Fresh Water Toys. And if you like this video, um, guess what? I would like you to probably press the like button. And you can even subscribe to my channel if you want to see me doing some very interesting toy reviews. And what in the flipping god is with Bumblebee? Actually, I'm going to have to go closer towards Bumblebee. Bumblebee! Are you sitting there for flipping what? Or, no, you know, are you just slacking there? I'm just going to put Bumblebee right over there. He can literally just sit next to Pikachu there. And look at that. Pikachu's just got a face plan of somewhat. And sorry for me yabbering in a very, very strange way. But anyways, thanks for watching and bye for now.